Hello, and welcome to Truth Be Told, the channel where the truth will absolutely set you free. But first, it just might piss you off. So if you're a person who can handle the truth, even if you don't like it, keep listening. Okay, let's get into the subject. The top three reasons why marriages or relationships fail. Now, I know there are a lot of people on YouTube that talk about marriage and relationships. You have the red pill people, the blue pill people. Some even refer to themselves as purple pill people. Well, I'm here to tell you that while all of them make some valid points, none of them, and I do mean none of them, or I should say none of the ones I've seen, and I've seen more than a few of them, None of them get to the real, real root of the problem. In my opinion, I should say. They either talk about the mistakes that too many women make or the mistakes that too many men make. And some talk about the mistakes that both men and women make. But so far, I haven't seen one person talk about the root cause of why so many marriages or relationships fail. Okay, number three, thirst also known as strong desire or the L word if you will. In other words, the need for physical companionship. So many people see a good looking man or a good looking woman and rather than take the time to really, really get to know that person, rather than find out if that person is truly a good match for them, they let their thirst rule their actions. But if you know like I know, thirst only lasts for a time. Strong desire only lasts for a time. So the relationship starts out hot and heavy, but after some time that fire starts to wane. It starts to get weaker and one or both parties are going to start looking elsewhere to try to rekindle that heat, that passion, that fire. And they're either going to leave the relationship or start cheating within the relationship. So either way, it's over. Relationships that are merely based on physical pleasure or the way someone makes you feel are doomed to fail because we as humans can get used to or bored with just about anything. Let me give you an example. Most people that love seafood would say a lobster dinner is a delicacy, something most of us would pay top dollar to enjoy, right? But ask the person who works at that restaurant who sees, smells, and tastes lobster all day every day if they pay top dollar for that same meal. My guess is they wouldn't. They probably prefer a regular smegular cheeseburger over that lobster. Why? Because lobster isn't anything special to them anymore. It's not a rare thing anymore. It's not a delicacy. It's become all too common. That's the way it is in strictly physical relationships. The couple starts out all hot and heavy. But after the newness wears off, after they've had lobster every day for the past 6, 8, 12 months, it's not special anymore. And most people in these types of relationships will just move on to the next one. This is why women who think all they need to provide in a relationship is their looks or their beauty. This is why they start accumulating bodies. Because yes, they attract a lot of guys. But after those guys get used to her beauty, that sweet nectar just ain't so sweet anymore so there's nothing left to stimulate them and more times than not that man will start looking for another woman with more than just beauty this is also why men who think all they need to provide in a relationship is money will get used for that money because yes you can attract a lot of women but all those women will see you as is a walking talking atm and after those women get used to your money those shopping sprees just ain't so sweet anymore. So there's nothing left to stimulate her. And more times than not, she's just going to start looking for another man with more than just money. Okay, number two. Assets or cachet, also known as physical resources. Which is kind of just a mixture or, or a separation of the two topics that I talked about in number one. So for the woman, that would be, or most likely be, a man's money and for the man that would most likely be a woman's beauty because too many women overlook a man's obvious red flags because he has money and too many men 
overlook a woman's obvious red flags because she's very attractive. This type of relationship won't last because the woman will lose interest as soon as that man has either a financial downturn or she meets a man with more money than he has. The man will lose interest as soon as he gets used to her beauty or he meets a woman more beautiful than she is. Like I said a moment ago, we as humans can get used to just about anything if we encounter it on a regular basis. Think about how excited you were when you got that brand new car you wanted or that good paying job you wanted. But after you've driven that car for a while or you've been at that job for a while, you get used to it. The newness wears off. So you start looking for a new car or you start looking for a new job. Why? Because things grow old. They become normal. They don't excite us anymore like they used to. So the relationship that is strictly based upon physical resources, strictly based upon either her beauty or his resources, that relationship is doomed to fail. Okay, now for number one. And keep in mind, number one is the single most common reason why relationships marriages even business partnerships any kind of union between two parties fails if people meaning both parties kept what i'm about to say at the forefront of their minds or in difficult times remembered or brought this one thought back to the forefront of their minds in my opinion there would never be another breakup another divorce or another partnership dissolution in the history of mankind now I know that sounds far-fetched and the answer is so simple I know a lot of people will disagree but the single most common reason the root cause as to why relationships marriages business partnerships fail is because one or both parties forget or forgot why they fell in love in the first place now before you shut this off or dismiss that answer as untrue think about it if every time two parties start to drift apart for whatever reason if they mutually agree to go back to the moment they fell in love they would instantly make up because we can all remember when we first fell in love we can remember the times when we couldn't wait to see that other person we can remember the times when we didn't want to hang up the phone when talking to that person we can remember how it felt when we interacted or went out on dates with that person the problem is we forget those times and we're too proud, too consumed with life's problems or too selfish to deliberately think back on the reason why we fell in love with that person in the first place. And instead of taking accountability in the role we had to play in the demise of the relationship, we want to blame it on our significant other. But like I said, both parties must agree to focus on the good times and not the bad. Have you ever seen an older couple married like 60, 70, maybe even 80 years and they still smile at each other? They still hold hands. They still look at each other like they were teenagers. I guarantee you they sustain that longevity because they never forgot. They never forgot the love they had for each other when they first fell in love with each other. And they keep that memory front of mind most if not all the time. That kind of commitment can only cause their love to grow no matter how old they get. Now I know there are people who will hear that and say that's impossible. How are you going to keep that in mind with all the distractions that happen in a marriage over time? Well, my advice, watch part two and I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that. But before I sign off, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and uh, leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say or think about this subject. And hit the notification bell so you won't miss any new content. Also, I ask you to check out my book, Live Great Now and Forever, located here. It's an insightful, thought-provoking read that will absolutely help you if you let it. So if you're a person who likes to learn new things, get yourself a copy and read it. Because like the subtitle says, if you'll learn these lessons now, they'll successfully serve you forever. Okay, until next time, this has been Truth Be Told. God bless and thank you for listening.